Let's talk about writing equations of lines. We're going to make this nice and easy. This is stuff you already know, you should know. If I say, for example, that the slope of a line is negative 2, and the y-intercept is 0, 19, can you find the equation for that line? Easily enough, because if we base it off of y equals mx plus b, we find that y equals negative 2x. And then, of course, my b matches up with this 19 that we see right there. So negative 2x plus 19. The thing that you have to watch out for is not getting sucked into thinking that the y-coordinate is always your y-intercept. If this x-coordinate is anything other than 0, then you most definitely do not have the y-intercept. Are you with me on that? I feel like when I ask the question, are you with me, do you understand, you only nod your head when I actually make eye contact with you, that you're afraid to <laughs> say otherwise. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Bacon? Bacon? Is this about bacon? Huh? I like bacon. I like bacon, too. My house did not smell like bacon this weekend. I wanted it to smell like bacon. I had the epiphany that if uh, there was more bacon eaten in the Middle East, that we'd probably they'd be happier people. <laughs> <laughs> I bacon, can believe that. Doesn't bacon just yeah. make you wanna? Actually, a resin that actually does in a sense, actually. Bacon, bacon is. All, all pork products, you know, smoked pork. I mean, you had what you had. Oh my God. Oh yeah, sm uh, smoked pork loin. No, you, we said it was a brisket. So. I know, but I'm saying you can smoke a pork loin. You can. Stop, stop. All right, everybody, I'm going to see you all at Rudy's after, after school day. All right, if I get the slope of five, and I pass to this point. Have you seen that commercial? It's like a video on YouTube. It's gone viral. It's like a dog, and he's talking. And the owner's like, yeah, I got this bacon. And he's like, yeah? Yeah? You got bacon? Sounds like something for bacon strips, but anyway. No, it's even better. Let's look at this guy. Let's look at this guy. I'm sure promises, promises. I'm Might as well have a song now. Thank you for that. If I've got my slope and I've got a point, does this the y-intercept? No. No, but it's enough to give me everything that I need. Right? Because look, don't I have my slope? Yep. Boom. And this guy is my x and y, so I can plug in the x and I can plug in the y, which means the only thing I don't have is what? Okay. My y-intercept, which is my b, and I can figure that out. No, 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 no. You're going to replace the y with... Negative 7. Right? Five times yeah. two plus B. Yes. See, I plug in everything that I know. I just don't have the B. <coughs> Negative seven equals ten plus B, which means B equals what? So if I put together my slope and my B, <coughs> and they join forces, and they become... <coughs> y equals 5x minus 17. Check this to make sure that it makes sense. Does this equation have a slope of 5? <laughs> yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Five. Does it satisfy the point 2, negative 7? If I plug in 2, will this result give me negative 7? 5 times 2 is 10 <laughs> minus 7 is negative 17. All right, that's exactly what I mean. Gonna box this answer. We know it's right. Working with math is out of set. Let's do another one. In yeah. fact, let's redo this same one. There's a formula you should all know, and it's called the point slope formula. They don't say no. That just means that there will be more torture. Point slope formula, remember, is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This point slope formula requires, it requires your slope, which is m, and it requires a point that you go through x1, <coughs> y1. And if you take that information and you plug it in here, you come up with your equation. 
So keep in mind, the things you're plugging in will be your slope, and then the x and the y coordinates. That's what you plug in. It's the x1 and y1 here. So if I go back and I do the same example, I'm going to have y minus, what was y1? What was the y coordinate I was playing around with? Negative 7. Negative 7 equals what's your slope? times x minus my x1 was 2. So y plus 7 equals 5x minus 10 when I distribute. Get y by itself, so what does y equal? Five x minus seventeen. No. Are you even kidding me? Look at this. C'est la même chose. 